T25 stretch. Recover, lengthen, and stretch your body. Your focus begins now. Alternate knee holds, guys. Lift up. How we feeling today, everybody? You worked hard all week long, and now you're going to lengthen, stretch, recover the body so that you can go into the next workout feeling really, really good. Just lift. This is going to slightly warm up the body so that you can really lengthen it and feel good. Bring a little heat to the body so we can focus. I'm going to tell you to focus on every single thing that we do so that you can get the best result possible. All right, guys, keep that left knee up. Now, your right leg is your supporting leg. You want to spread the toes out as wide as you can to get a nice base of support. Pull it in and switch to the other side. Ready? We're just going to lift up to the other side. Now, as you go through this workout, you really want to focus on what you want to do for your body. Now, really what you want to do for your body now is you want to keep it nice and long. You want to focus on the stretch. You want to focus on what's moving and what's generating the goodness that's going to come out of your body, okay? Put the leg down. We're going to alternate straight leg kicks. All right, let's lift, left and right. Now, as you see, Tanya wants to try and keep her shoulders lifted. So try to keep your shoulders lifted. You want to flex your foot. That means bring your toes towards your stomach, towards your belly button. Really push out with the heel. Keep it going. We're going to get there. You're going to feel good by the end of this 25 minutes. I promise you. So stay focused. You're there. All right. So keep it going. Three, two. Let's get that left heel to the floor. Left heel to the floor. Now, we talked about lengthening the body. You want to lengthen nice and slow. And once you get down there to the bottom, what you want to do is you want to grab that left toe. You grab the left toe, keep the back flat, pull through, and then we're going to switch to the other side. Okay? So just switch right down there to the other side. Breathe through the stretch. How we feel, guys? You good? Stay in there. Stay focused. In four, three, two, and one. All right, here we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go squat, left leg back, hip flexor. Boom. And then squat down, left leg back, hip flexor. Squat down, and left leg back, hip flexor. Keep it going, keep it moving, moving nice and slow. When you step back, the focus is the hip flexor. You want to lengthen it and really have control over it. Now what you want to do is just hold it back there, hold that left leg back, and as you hold it back there, what you want to do is you really want to squeeze the glute now. Act like the glute is the bicep now. You know when you flex your bicep, you want to squeeze the glute. Squeeze it as hard as possible. Now you want to release and put the focus on the hip flexor. You get that? And then you sink it a little lower. Okay? Squeeze again. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Ready? Now release and go a little lower. How you guys feeling? I'm going to make you work a little bit here, but it's good for you. Lift your arms up. Lift your arms up nice and high. Now, as you lift your arms up nice and high, what I want you to do is, again, squeeze that glute. Now, if you can go a little bit lower, that's great. You might need to readjust that back foot. The focus is on the hip flexor. Squeeze through. Three, two. Squat the hip flexor. We're going to the other leg. Squat down. Hip flexor back. Push. You got it? Squat down. Hip flexor back. You did this, done this already on the other side. Now I want you to focus. If you did this before already, you, I want you to focus. You got this. You know where the focus is supposed to be. It's on that hip flexor, and you're going all the way through there. You work so hard that you have to treat your body right, and this is how you do it. This is the video. This is your foundation, no matter how far you get along with your results. Hold it back. Now we're going to hold it back. Chest is lifted. You got a fist width between your chin and your chest there. Bring the shoulders back a little bit. Squeeze the glute. Three, two, one. Now loosen. Now go a little lower. It's just a two-inch drop that's going to make the difference of a tight hip flexor and a loose hip flexor. Okay? Three, two, one. Bring the arms up nice and high. Now as the arms come up, you want to squeeze again. Squeeze that glute again. Lift, squeeze it back. You got this. Okay? How are we feeling? <laughs> feeling good, feeling good. You're there. Squeeze, now release down. Squeeze the glute. Squeeze it, make it nice and good. Are those biceps by your ears? 
Release it and release down. Got it. All right, I want you to bring the arms down, bring the hands to the knee, come up. Now we're going into our lunge. We're going to work the groin area, okay? You work lateral, laterally a lot, side to side. Here we go, starting with the left side, drop down. Wait into the heel, come back up. Drop down again, wait into the heel. Touch that toe, come back up. Here we go, drop down, wait into the heel, come back up. You got it, give me two more times. Drop down, wait into the heel, push, come back up. One more time, drop down, wait into the heel. I want you to hold it. This time I want you to bring hand over hand, and then I want you to drop your forehead into the back of your hand. Now, the focus is this. Your back is flat, your core is tight. Your left heel is in the floor, spread out the toes and put the weight back into the left heel. Push it back. That's the stretch. That's what you're supposed to be focused on. That's what you feel. Now, if you focus on the other leg, which is your right leg, you focus on that groin area in three, two, one. Stay down there, stay low, bring your hands center. Open up the legs side to side, palms on the floor. The thing is, whenever you put any of your limbs on the floor, you want to spread your hands out. You want to get a very wide base of support. This is gonna help your balance, it's gonna help your core, it's gonna help anything you do, whether it's moving fast or moving slow, you will have the control. Okay, stay down there and roll up nice and slow. Three, two, one. Bring your feet together. We're tapping down to the lunge. Here we go. Take it down and up. Take it down and up. Are we feeling good? Yeah. Down and up. What's your focus now? Your focus is on spreading out those toes, sitting into those heels, working through it. Eight seconds to go. That's going to give us about four more of these. And three. I need two more. Here's two. Give me one more. And you know what's next. You stay down. You cross the arms slightly, forehead, into the back of your hands. And then what do you do? You sit into that back right heel. Sit into it. Stretch it out. This is the feeling. You're going to bring it right back through the hip. And that's where you want to focus right now. Into the hip. And think of all those squats you did or all those jumps you did. And this is how you want to feel it and recover it. Okay? Keep your head down. Split the leg. Palms to the floor. Come to the center of your body. Now, what are we supposed to do when we're down here? We're supposed to spread these fingertips, okay? Now, when you think about it, we're here. Spread the fingertips. Your body's cut in half. In order to get one inch lower, you want to release the hips here. So I'm going to ask Scott to just release the hips a little bit. Even if it's just a millimeter, it's going to make you that much stronger. Roll up nice and slow for four. You got it. Three, two, and one. Now, bring your feet together. We're going into the cradle. Lift up, you want to grab under the outside of the foot. You want to cradle your body. You're going to move around a little bit, okay? If you're not balanced yet, but you just want to have the control. Neck is nice and long. Still, like every other thing we do, you want to use your core. Find the balance. Spread the toes out on the supporting leg. You're right there. Keep it going. In three, two, keep the leg there and lower slowly. Pray your hands. Okay, where's our focus? We're still focused on those hips, still focused on the glute. Now what you wanna do is keep your chest nice and high. Your left knee, I want you to push it to the ground. Push it against your right knee. Push it, push it, push it. Give it some resistance and bend the knee and go a little bit lower. You're there, okay? Ready, let's switch legs. Take it up. We're gonna cradle the right leg. Cradle up and lift. As you notice, Tanya stays nice and high. Knee is up. Okay, pull through, pull it up. Get that flexibility in there, find the balance. On the supporting leg, focus on spreading out the toes for an amazing base of support. You got this, okay? And four, three, slowly come down, pray your hands. Feel the control, see the control, feel the control. Now, right leg, push it against your left knee, push it down, push that right knee to the floor and then release and you can go a little lower now act like somebody's pushing on your lower back 
and they want to get you down there so you can really focus on that hip. You got it. And four, and three, and two. Slowly stand up. Now we're focusing on the whole body here. Your focus is control. V arms, spread the fingertips, split your body in half, release into a flat back V. Now I'm gonna spread my legs out just a little wider with the feet, moving at the hips, okay? You're gonna move at the hips and make sure that's where the control is. Just hold it. Take the arms about six inches away from your ears so you have the control and everything's lined up perfectly. In five, four, three, two, stay down there. Bring that left arm to the floor, right arm up. Look up toward the fingertips. You have three bases of support here. Left hand on the floor, fingers are wide. Both feet, toes are spread apart. Push into the floor, use the floor. Now flex your quads. Flex them, come on. Focus on the flex, focus on the flex, you got it? Release them, release the hand down and come to the other side. Lift the arm up. I'm gonna feel, act like my hand is wrapped around your quadricep right now. And you want me to feel a rock there, right? You wanna squeeze it? You're gonna focus on the back, that's your hamstring. Come on, look up there. There you go, look up there. Breathe, release the center of your body, and drop it down. And four, three, two, and one. So here we go, cat cow. Bend, round your back, and release. Round your back, and release. Now every time you round your back, keep going. Every time you round your back, you wanna lengthen that lower back. You wanna lengthen it. You jump so much, it's almost like when you jump, think of their body compacting like this, but you don't want to do that. Now today, it's about lengthening. Now hold it down there. You're going to drop your elbows inside your knees and push out. So your elbows are pushing your knees out. Your knees are pushing your elbows in. So now you have complete resistance. Now focus on two types of resistance going on. Adductors and abductors are working together. You're working your shoulders, you're spreading apart. Now release everything and just let it go out. You got it? You're right there. In three, two, one. Put the palms down. Get them on your mat if you have one. We're going back in a downward dog. Left leg up, in line with the body. And then bring that knee to the elbow. And then take it back out, lift. Breathe through it, and then bring the knee to the elbow. Now I want you to do it one more time. Release back. Your body wants to be in a straight line, just like that, and then come in, knee in. Use your core, one more second. Stay in, go in plank position for a second. Now go back in the downward dog, and cross right over left, stretching out the calf muscle. Press the left toes into the floor. Like you're trying to drive your toes into the floor. Now release and stretch out that calf. You got it? Stay in this position. Take your right leg. Just lift it up. Flex the foot. You can do it. Now bring that knee to the elbow. Control and take it back out. Breathe. Keep breathing no matter what. You're more than halfway done. Bring the knee in. And take it back. Take the leg down. Cross left over right. Stretch out the calf muscle. Again, pushing the toes into the ground. Push it. Push it down there. Ready? Now release. Stretch out the calf muscle. Breathe through every single stretch. You got it. I promise you're good. Okay? In three, two, everybody down. Let's go into child's pose. Now, what I want you to do is bring those palms to the floor. Spread your fingertips out. The tops of your feet are on the floor. You're trying to get your butt to your heels if you can. You want to release through and lengthen the lower back. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. You got it. Lengthen it out. 
is basically what you want to do is you want to take your shoulders and you want to take your glutes and you want to separate them right at the seam of your lower back. Some people think this exercise is rest. Mm -mm. This is work. Ready? Come up in the tabletop. You got it. From tabletop, just like this. You're gonna reach out with the left arm, reach. Fingertips are reaching so far out. You wanna touch about 100 feet in front of you, retract the shoulder blade, pull through the lats, reach back out and then release down. Palms on the floor, fingers are spread, everything's on the floor. You have a wide base of support. Ready, take it to the other side, reach out. Come on, reach 100 feet out in front of you. Now what I want you to do is retract. With this, you're making the neck nice and long. Your head is in neutral spine. You're looking directly down to the floor. Reach back out in front of you, and then come down. You got it? One more time, really quick. Reach, stretch it out. Come on, come on, reach out. Pull through, reach out, come down. How are we feeling, guys? You got it. Plank position. I want you to walk to the back of your mat in that plank position. We're going into the spider, spider static stretch. Left leg comes out wide. Connect the knee to the shoulder. Now, this position, you basically want to connect and just lengthen. Half your body bent, knee bent. The back is stretching back. Push that back heel onto the floor. You got it? Hold it. Six, five, four, three, two. Do a quick switch, but control. Take the foot back, take the other one up. Really get the control of it. You got it. Stay there. Where's your focus? Now I'm gonna ask Susan to take her head in neutral spine. There you go, look at that. Now she's really flexible. So really, if I wanted to, I could push her down. But it's not about really overemphasizing the stretch. It's about getting the perfect stretch and focusing on what your body can do functionally. Okay, keep it there, you got it. And three, two, one. Now, bring your knees up on the mat if you have one. We're going into that pigeon. You guys ready? Let's turn to the side, all right. Pigeon, that means the leg that's closest to me is back. Other leg is bent. You want the elbows down and just sit in there and just relax in that position. Okay, you can drop the head if you want to. Don't add too much strain, don't force it down, don't force it up, just have control. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create an S with our leg. So the leg that's closest to me is gonna actually turn away from me. The heel's gonna turn away from me. So come up, everybody. We feeling good, y'all? Yeah. I'm making them work a little bit. <laughs> create an S for Sean T, get it? Now you take it, reach to the back. They laughing at me because I talk in third person, but it's all right. I'm making you focus. That's what's important, right? Now, my hands, I'm driving my fingertips into the ground, but really, I want to drive my palm into the floor, and I'm going to reach and focus on stretching out my upper body, OK? We're going to transition into a quadriceps stretch. It might take you a minute to get there. Take it slow and controlled. Take it down and lift up. Let's go. So as you see, my palm is down in front. My knee is down and back. I'm lifting my chest as high as I can go. Now, some people might be more flexible and they even might be able to have their glutes on the ground in this position. But me, this is where I can go. This is what's comfortable. And I'm still stretching it out. So hold it, okay? And four, three, two. Just release the back leg nice and straight. Palms to the floor. Lift up nice and high. Now, the goal is to try to get that hip that's closest to me, which is your right hip, and you really want to try to push it to the floor. But don't do too much. Just focus on it. You got it, OK? How are we feeling, guys? This is it. So when you're breathing into that stretch, it's all about breathing, like I said, and lengthening, lengthening, and you can do it. All right? Let's switch to the other side. Other leg forward. Bring that leg that's close to us forward. We're going into that pigeon down low. You melt into it slow. All of these moves, the focus should be moving slowly, breathing, having control, and just living in that moment. 
again, this workout is like, I could be jumping around, but more importantly, it's about really resting and recovering your body, okay? So that next workout you do, you feel good. This is like the Sean T Focus T25 medicine for you, okay? Here we go. Ready? So lift up. Make that S. Like this first away from me is now heels coming toward me. We're making that S, and now you're going to turn your body to me. That's some good news for you, people. Like I always give you a time. You got less than five minutes to go, and you will feel rejuvenated 100%. Okay? What are we doing now? We're stretching that upper body. How we feeling? Y'all still alive? We alive. We ain't doing nothing that hard. They better be alive. Okay? You should feel really good, too. Okay? Keep it going. Three. Two, one, here we go. Let's grab that back leg. Quadriceps stretch, lift up, pull through. Your focus is on the quadricep. The one that's furthest away from me should be your left leg and lift it up. You guys feel good? Three, two, one, drop it. Stay high in this pigeon. Make your body completely square, chest nice and high, top of the foot is down, and press through. You're there, okay? Fingers are spread, you're lifting, you're pushing that hip into the floor, you're there, you got it, okay? Just keep continuing to focus and breathe. Focus on your breathing for the last few minutes of this work, okay? Three, two, and one. Are we good, guys? All right, let's get on our back. Now you're going to get on your back. Your feet are going to be bent. Up and down, palms to the side. We're going to lift our hips and then lower our hips, okay? Lift your hips nice and high. Squeeze and then lower the hips. You got it. Lift your hips. Come on. Squeeze the glutes and then lower the hips. A couple more times. Lift and squeeze and then lower the hips. Now stay up nice and high. Stay up high. Interlock the fingers underneath. Are we good? Yeah. Now try to pull your shoulders down. Squeeze the glutes nice and high. Get the hips as high off the floor as you can. And you're there. You're going. Push through. Come on, stay in control. You got it? How are you? Three, yeah. two, one, drop down. Both legs straight. Leg is close to me. Pull it in. See that? Now I want you to just really cognitively push your leg out. Flex the foot that's on the ground. Push it out as far away from you. You control it to lengthen the lower half of your body. Pull it in as much as possible. How you doing, Susan? She looking up at me like, how much time we got left? Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Here we go. Ready? Switch to the other side. You got it. You got it. Pull through. We're there. How you doing, Tanya? Come on. Mm -hmm. You got it. Just keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. You're right there. Stay in the moment. Stay in the moment. Come on. Push it in. Pull it in. We're great. We good, guys? You guys are so awesome. Now I'm going to ask you to Bring the other knee in, join them both in together. Bring it in. And then you just try to really bring it in. Lengthen the lower back. Put your head completely on the floor. And I want you to breathe. Small breaths. Focus on your breathing. As you know, we're coming to a close now. About a minute to go and you can do it. Okay? Keep it going. Now, both feet to the ground. Leg is closest to me. Cross it over the other leg. Knees are bent. Pull it in. Now, I want you to push against that hand. Your right knee, push against the hand. Give it some work, and then pull it back in and release the work. Now, you got it. You see what I do? Do it again. Push against that hand. Push against it. Focus. Focus on the hip work, and you got it. Come on. Keep it up there, keep it up there, and release. Now switch sides. Come on, we're almost there. We're almost there. Like every workout, at the end I tell you to go a little bit harder, but not hard in movement, but hard in focus, because you're almost done. 
pull it and push against that hand. Push and then release. Keep breathing. Push and then release and then push and then release and you got it. And four, three, two, time. You did an amazing job. Just continue to focus on your body and everything that you do and I got your back. Log on to teambeachbody.com for more support from me and everyone else in the Team Beachbody community. Focus T25. Good job, everybody. Way to work. Keep it going. Keep it pushing. Keep it working.